Located inside an ancient Aztec temple in the middle of Mexico City, this painting depicts the agricultural life of the Aztecs and how they were sacrificed many people of their own kind in order to get help from the gods or goddesses in which they would specialize in. In this painting, we can see Tlaloc, the goddess of rain and water, help two farmers beside her that are trying to get water from her hands. As can be seen in this painting, there is water droplets from the side of her hands in which she is reaching out to the farmers. They are looking for her help because possibly there is a drought going on and they need her help in order for them to strive agriculturally and for them not to run out of food in order to feed a village. This painting was made on a plaster wall with a red background as well as other colors that combine with it in order to create a distinct effect to the painting. Beside the goddess, there are two farmers that are looking for her help by reaching out to the water droplets that she is handing out to them. They are looking for her help because they are probably struggling. A drought that has, has been going throughout the whole region that has caused them to find many other ways to try and save themselves from starvation. Here are more art pieces that can be found throughout the temples. In this artwork, there are organic lines that can be seen from Tlaloc reaching her hands out to the farmers, as well as the farmers looking straight towards her as in giving direction. Everything in this painting has shape, nothing seems distorted or crazy looking. The texture from this painting can be seen. The plants besides the farmers have prickly texture because of the lines that are on it. Warm colors are mostly used in this painting. Red takes dominance in this painting, as well as yellow and orange. Symmetry in this painting can be clearly seen. Talok is in the middle and there are two equal farmers beside them. Although it may not be equal symmetry, there is still symmetry in this painting. Pattern can be seen on the foreground of this painting. The stone underneath the farmers and Talok's legs has a pattern that repeats itself throughout the whole painting. The emphasis on this painting can be clearly seen. The look is in the dead middle and the two farmers are looking straight at him. Dating back to the 14th century, this civilization had many ways of living. One of which is sacrificing their own people in order to gain something from the gods and goddesses. In this situation, the Aztecs would sometimes sacrifice family members or friends in order to get help from Tlaloc. This way of living was common between the earliest civilizations of the earth. The Mayans did it as well, and they had many outcomes to it, some of which were bad and some of which were good. The gods of war were praised upon in the Aztec and Mayan culture because they were helping a lot when war would break out between different tribes. The Aztec culture was based around religion and astronomy. The Aztecs would look into the stars and the moon and the sun when they wanted to find out when the next agricultural cycle was so that they could plan ahead and be ready for when it would be the right time for them to plant and have enough food for the rest of the year. The Aztec culture was almost like the Greek culture, believing many gods and not having faith in any other things besides the gods and goddesses that would help them and lead them through many things. The city of Teotihuacan was almost like a pilgrimage site for the Aztecs. There, the villages will meet up and have big parties as well as plan for the future of how the civilization will move forward. Many of the times, there would, the sacrifices done to the gods and goddesses would be done right there in the site of Teotihuacan because they had nowhere else to do it. At the top of the temple of the Temple Mayor is where it would mostly be done. The sacrifices vary from men, women, and even children many times. 
This painting has a lot of iconography in it. The painting has symbolism of water drops that signify how to locate water to the farmers so that they could thrive in agriculture. The stars on the bottom of the painting that are inside the brick symbolize the farmer cycle and relates directly to how Tlaloc will help them with the farming. The stars in the brick also symbolize how the Aztec would look into astronomy for many of the answers of how to live their life and how to strive in it. Formalism is represented in this painting as well. The plants and the farmers are related directly to how Tlaloc worked in the Aztec culture. Evidence I used to find about my artwork was a documentary that was 40 minutes long and talked about the ancient civilizations of um, Central America. Made that I have documentary explaining the life of the Aztecs, the artifacts that they made, the paintings that they made, the sculptures, the agriculture, and many other things that seemed useful to me when I was trying to find information. Another helpful piece of evidence that I looked at was an article by Luis Vargas. He explains what he saw when he went by himself to check out the original painting and many of the other Kevin engravings with that he saw. Vargas noticed that the, that the Aztecs put a lot of detail into the painting to show their appreciation for the gods and for the help that they have done to them. Another source I used was a, an article by Faith. She talked about how the sacrifices made range from young people to old people and even the young healthy people. The Aztecs would use these people in order to sacrifice them and make them as offerings to the goddess of water and other gods as well. She also found out that wildcats were sacred to the Aztec culture as well as dogs. This is my artwork. This is an artwork showing that a clock being thrown away and a dollar sign gripped with the other hand. I interpreted this as we are sacrificing our time in order to gain money. And this is basically what the Aztecs did. They would sacrifice their own human beings, but in this case it's us with our time in order to gain something else. Which in this case is money, and for them it was help from the gods and goddesses. Many times we don't just give away our time for money. We also give away our time for many other things such as having fun and hanging out with friends. Or maybe even putting work to something that you have to do in life. And sometimes we don't even have to sacrifice time. We sacrifice many other things in order to achieve something that we always wanted. Like I am doing right now, I am sacrificing my time in order to make this video as best as I can. Although that may not be possible, I still know that I have tried enough to try and get a good grade in this. I have sacrificed a lot of things in life. I still think that time is the most precious thing that we can have in our life. Sacrificing our time can no longer be brought back once we have wasted it. There is only one way where sacrificing our time can really help us, and that's putting it into work. Making money is, is a way of making ourselves happy. I honestly, with my job, I don't care how much time I put into it, as long as I make money, and as long as I know I'm going to get paid for it. I, I have wasted a lot of my time on a lot of things, but I really started to appreciate it more, and I noticed that a lot of my time has been going into the nonsense. We have to make many difficult sacrifices in our life every single day, whether it's waking up in the morning to go to school or work, but many of the times it's just, it's just to further ourselves as a person and to grow as a human.